guys, I got this little sesame. This is a K500. I uh, got this from Chad. He says he's got three more just like it. Got them from the same place. He thinks the combinations are all the same, but he doesn't know what that combination is. So, kind of a challenge to get into it. So, let's take a look at it first. I tried shimming it from the top, and I can tell you I broke a shim. That does not work. So, whatever locking mechanism this has, you can't shim it from the top. I tried taking the hammer and beating it on every possible angle to include the shackle while there's under tension, trying to click it, trying to release it like I'm bump keying it, and I got nothing whatsoever out of it. No luck at all. Pretty good locking mechanism, it seems like. Uh, it is not like the Master 176, so there's no key on the side, so we can't use that. It also, it looks a little like the Master 175, where we take our shim, and you can slide it in and bypass it. Um, this one does have one place on the lock. It's at the very first position on the left of the wheel. It doesn't appear to be shielded. You can slide this in, but it doesn't feel like there's anything to manipulate inside of there. It goes in very deep and there's just nothing... I just can't feel anything. All of the rest of the positions are shielded, but you can still get in there. Just bend your tip a little bit and then very gently just wiggle it back and forth and let's see if I can get it in there. It's really not important because again you don't feel anything. There we go. It goes in. It's very tight fit but again you compress the shackle and there's not really anything you're not really manipulating anything inside of this lock. Alright so we've tried everything that we've tried previously on these little combination locks. You could do it brute force, you know, 000, 001, 002, blah blah blah. But I like, I'm a McDonald's guy, I like it instant. So instead, we're gonna have some fun with the little sesame. I'm gonna put it on the milling machine and we're gonna figure out how this thing works. I may not be able to figure out the combination for the other three, but maybe this one we can. So I'm gonna mill off the top of this and then we're gonna see what the guts look like and see if we can't figure out how to beat it. So give me a couple of minutes. Alright guys, didn't go quite as neatly as I thought. I had to machine part of it and suddenly I realized because of the angles I had to get the uh, Dremel tool out and cut away some of the debris around the edge so we can see how this thing works. I tried not to destroy anything. Here you can see both of the solid brass locking pawls that uh, lock into the shackle. So it's held in place uh, by a solid piece of brass here when it's locked. So you're not going to be shimming it. Impossible to shim solid metal. Just not going to work. So we didn't waste a lot of time messing with that. Uh, on the inside here, and amazingly I didn't destroy it, is a little plunger with a spring. And this really, oops, that really, move that in the center there. All that does is maintain downward tension on the locking paw itself. Now here's where we screwed up, or at least I screwed up. Turns out you probably can shim this. Let me zoom out just a little bit so I got room to work. If you do, if you go in from the f first uh, slot, you're not going to be able to access anything. So they didn't bother to, they didn't bother to, sh to uh, shield that. The second one, again, I showed you how if you jiggle it around, you can get past the shielding, and in fact, you can. Just like with the 175, if you see where that shim is right there, if you slide them in just a little bit further and then you compress the shackle just like we do with the 175 and then you push up on the locking pawl then you will be able to get an unlock. So not the first slot but any of the other slots it looks like if you shove it in far enough about a uh, little over half an inch you should be able to uh, to bypass this uh, K500 sesame combination lock. I don't have another one to practice that on because Chad did not send me but this one. But I believe it's very similar in uh, the bypass is very similar to this one as it is to the Master 175 and 176. Anyway, Chad, there you go. That's how you get into it. Just shim your way into it. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. All right, guys, I realized I didn't answer Chad's true question, and that was, what's the combination? Well, you got to know how it works. So I do have the combination, Chad, but I'm going to make you suffer through my explanation. we got four wheels, and if you look closely, let me grab the pointer here, there are actually some disks. There are two disks located right there, and there are another two located right there. And the arms of your locking pawl ride on those. And so when they're not lined up, let me rotate number four here. You notice how... It's round everywhere except that one spot. 
and there it is right there. When it's lined up like that, there's a flat spot there, there's a flat spot there. The locking paw can be pushed down by that spring, and then you can get the shackle open. So, the secret quest, Chad, that you're after is, looks like, 8121. So if the other combination locks are the same, they should open. Thanks, guys.